Okay, so I'm gonna try to uh, expand my orbiting laboratory with this thing. And mainly for power purposes with some solar arrays. So that's this is the main thing that I need to get up there. Get a special sort of um, configuration for the um, docking. So I'm going to try to uh, get this thing up and then dock it uh, in a retrograde perspective with this thing. I have no idea how that's going to work out. Since this is the only way I can get things up, I don't have any shuttle or anything like that. Okay, let's see. That's these uh, paratrons. I'm gonna use. Just arrange the staging a little bit. reading that some other guys have also questioned this about the 4,000 meters per second delta V to get to orbit. Uh, Cargo, so perhaps I'm gonna need extra boosters on this thing just to, uh, oops, to be safe. So I uh, guess I'll add that. But will they fit? on here. It's always fun to try to get some sort of symmetry. Okay, good enough on some aerodynamic stuff on this. Let's go with the same. And of course, my new friend at the Separatron. Oh. 
something like that, okay. And so that's the first stage. And launch. You know, still less than three thousand. screen. Okay, looking good. However, one thing that I've not worked out yet is the uh, mech jab for Rendezvous during launch, but uh, at least it, I didn't get it work uh, on the moon, but perhaps if we select our target here, that's our target, um, launch to rendezvous, engage autopilot, Already? Stage. 
let's abort, uh, revert this flight to launch. I'm trying to sh wiggle it a little bit, see if anything's loose. Yep, something's loose there. Oh, yeah, it's probably, of course, I need some struts. Come on. Okay. just switch to space lab and checked out the current inclination it would be okay RCS coming up on that burn. Okay, this looks better at least. Won't take as much delta V and I'm already above it, so that's good. Ascent. Here we go, rendezvous, water pilot planner, and let's see if we just... Uh, let's put that seven. Watch it plants. Yep. Proceed. 194. After that, not so much more delta V required.
here comes the burn. Let's check the electricity, it's good. We got big batteries on this boy. That's, that's the main purpose of the entire mission. Increasing facing rate by establishing a new facing orbit at 183.7 kilometers. Okay, whatever. I have no idea what this thing is doing right now. But it's putting us higher up in order to uh, not have to wait 18.1 uh, facing orbits. Speeding up. <laughs> Interesting. So this took well, this took more delta v than I had expected. Okay, let's see our next stat. Okay, 3.32 facing orbits to get us uh, to the interception. Here comes that burn in uh, and now on intercept course 58 and we got 379 to 3 left that's good how about um, Wonder what why it doesn't say any delta V on the uh, the last oh yeah I've been taking uh, fuel from that tank as well. So before we ditch this thing, okay, one point four. So it's just closing in right now. That's not an issue. Okay, so it'll do this for a while now, coasting in. Okay, anyway, here we are. Deploy this, let's uh, try this. Decouple. Control from here. And I want to set the uh, 
Okay, we're gonna have to turn the station. And of course, retract these panels. And this one. Let's roll this thing over. Just with the SAS, probably work better. Okay. Now comes the interesting part. Okay, so I uh, actually put the wrong kind of uh, kind of a tank on. Brilliant, because these are monopropellant engines. So this is totally useless. I'm gonna do this with the RCS. Um, see how that goes. Crew hatch. Crew hatch. Set this target. Okay. Translate a little. Capture the green line there. That, that s I'm slowly, slowly getting the hang of the uh, indicator add-on, which I think is great, but I just have to get to know it. And also keep an eye on the distance because I have a tendency to forget that. Okay. How about changing to uh, chase camera? Okay. Kind of annoying with the sun, but uh, it's okay. So I'm gonna try to capture this motion first. No, not rotation. Press the wrong key. Okay, now it goes back. Okay, killing off that velocity. Now let's chase it down into the middle. Want that green cross in the middle? Get our vector down in the middle. Something like that. Now, also get the rotation correct, so a little more translation. Hmm, now I'm 
drifting in the wrong way for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna chase it. And now be ready to uh, brake a little bit. Slowing down. Okay, something like that. Here we go. Almost lined up. I guess this is the uh, rotational offset, the large orange thing. But perhaps this is good enough, I'm not sure. Otherwise, this is pretty much on the money. Coming in. Whoop. Yep, we got it. Captured. Good job there, people. It's wobbling us. Crazy right now. Gotta switch the SAS off, I guess. Can't have them on the both modules. But since this is the same module, I think the SAS is for both vehicles, perhaps. That's not a good thing. Let's see. Yeah, it starts wobbling. So let's keep SAS off for now. Anyway, we have accomplished the docking. Of this thing. There will be no direct transfer as you can see at this moment for crew, but this is mainly for you know these. So this thing is kind of obsolete, but uh, let's decouple this now. Okay. Now what happens if I put the SAS on? It starts to wobble. Now can I turn the SAS off for one of them? Wheel authority zero. Now SAS. Yeah. Okay, so I could just turn off the wheel authority on the uh, reaction wheel, and we got stable. Now I can uh, get the antenna back out. Kind of a missed design that, uh, of course, there's no direct crew passage. But perhaps the game doesn't understand that. 
transfer crew. Let's see, transfer crew. Yes, you can actually kind of cheat and transfer. Imagine that they <laughs> crawl through here without any spacesuit on. Anyway, we're not gonna do that. I think this will be it for this station. It's not uh, the main thing was to get the uh, electricity up there. Oh, you're staying there. Never mind. Okay, transfer. Verberry. Okay. Let's see how this looks in sunlight. Let's check the batteries. The two thousand four four hundred and ten of electrical units charging up in a heartbeat by these huge new reflectors which are currently in this uh, in shadow by the lab. Let's change our control from here. And I'm not sure about uh, Gotta go easy here, I think, with the SAS. There we are. Trying to get it out of from out from the shadow. Shouldn't it? Yeah, it's facing the sun. Okay. <laughs> the angle isn't optimal. Perhaps I should detach and rotate the thing. I'm gonna save before that because this would be a lot better if it was on a 90 degree angle on dock okay let's try to uh, rotate Good thing I uh, saved. I think I need, since I've ditched my probe, I of course need a crew member inside it. Almost screwed it up entirely. Some pilots, Kirdred, no, you're an engineer. I haven't got any pilots up here, do I? So, before they will be perfectly, um, maybe I can do it with Kirdred. Let's see. So 
adjust the rotation. And that killer rotation. At 90 degrees, there we are. Now thrusting forward slowly. So perhaps later on, when I've got more money, I'll redo this whole thing and just have a decoupler here. Ditch this thing. I'll see this as a temporary thing, okay. SAS whatsoever. Okay, now thrust forward. Gotta be really fine with the rotation. Here we go. That's better. Got the right angle. That's a job well done from a non-pilot in the controls of this thing. So that's a lot better angle. Less shadow. Of course, because I won't be able to control this thing the, whole, the entire time. Control from here. Okay, save. Well, I think that's it for today. But uh, finally got some electricity going for the lab. Actually, gonna transmit some data. I think. Okay, up and running.